Hello, how are you friends and flower and nature lovers? Today I will tell you about a plant with very beautiful flowers and lush greenery in summer and winter. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel before, please don't forget to subscribe and like it. Let me tell you a little bit about the abelia plant. Love you guys. A member of the honeysuckle family, abelia, abelia grandiflora, is known for its showy, fragrant pink and white flowers that covered this deciduous shrub from May to September. In many parts of the country, those flowers are followed by colorful leaves that last through the autumn months, making abelia a welcome addition to any yard. The plant is easy to propagate through stem cuttings. Obtaining cuttings, abelia is often propagated by stem cuttings taken from mid-July to early fall. Take these cuttings from healthy plants only, preferably from the plant's upper portion. Try to get the cuttings during the early morning hours as they will contain more moisture, making them less susceptible to stress. The cuttings should be at least 4 to 5 inches in length and free of any flower buds. Strip any leaves from the lower end of the cutting before planting. Storage and planting. If the cuttings cannot be planted immediately, store them in a cool area such as a cooler or refrigerator. Treat the cuttings with a rooting hormone before placing one third to one half of the stripped stem into a medium such as sand, a mixture of peat and perlite or a mixture of sand and perlite. It is best to place the cuttings in a shady area, avoiding direct sun, until roots have formed. Rooting suggestions. High humidity will help the plants root. While a greenhouse is not necessary, a clear plastic bag can be used to cover the container with the cuttings with the same effect. Place a stick or wire arch over the cuttings to keep the plastic bag from touching the plants and to allow some air and moisture circulation. Misting the cuttings every other day is also helpful. Allow at least 4 to 6 weeks for roots to form. Planting. Once roots have formed, place the plants in 1 gallon or larger containers. Let them grow more, at least until the following spring, before placing them in your yard to give them a better chance of survival. The College of Agriculture at North Carolina State University suggests adding a tablespoon of slow-release fertilizer and dolomitic limestone over the planting medium at this stage. When they are ready to transplant into your yard, select a spot with good drainage and slightly acidic to neutral soil in full sun or partial shade. Abelia grows well in US DA zones 5 to 9. Thank you for listening to me. Don't forget to watch other videos. Please see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. I love you.